Welcome back to the Fierce Fish First Tech Challenge programming tutorial series. Our goal in this series is to provide simple and straightforward guidance in programming an FTC robot. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the Rev Blinken. The Rev Blinken is an LED driver developed by Rev Robotics. It plugs into your expansion hub and is programmed through a servo port. So today we're going to have a little bit of fun and work with the LED, work with LED lights. Now, or, and I'm also going to teach you how to use the LED lights to program a simple end game timer that and you can adjust the light patterns as you like, as you will learn in today's video. So first, let's start out by declaring our Blinken, and it is declared just like this. We have Blinken LED driver, and I call mine lights. That's the one that I, I don't know why I call my LED driver lights. It's just simple, and I know exactly what it means, because how can you not know? Like, sometimes your robot gets known for your lights, and even though you don't want it to be known that way, or, or you do, I don't know, whatever you like, but it's a very cool feature for the robot. That and that name tells me that I know exactly what it is. So now initializing it, it's just like we haven't just like we initialized the IMU, it's we're gonna use the different way through the hardware map. And it's going to be rev.class and then the string your device name in it. And I'm sorry that box is in the way but you just have the dot class and then the string with the configuration name in it. Okay, and that's how you initialize your hardware or your lights. And in here, you might want to change a certain color so that your the lights a certain color so that your robot knows what like or so that you the drivers know that your robot is ready to go, everything's calibrated and such. So something that my team likes to do is change the color to green because green means a we're ready and the judges know not the judges the refs know that too that we're ready so and how you set the pattern is just like this lights dot set pattern and there are a number of patterns you can set to the blinken user manual has all kinds of patterns that it's can be configured to, if you just look at that. And that is on the physical box itself. There's are adjustments you can make with the um, box itself. So we're just gonna go green, and it is rev blinken driver dot blinken pattern dot the pattern you're going for. And so I'm just going to leave that there. And that is how you set the pattern of one of your colors, whatever you want it to be. So now let's work on our end game timer. Now starting it in the loop, we need to declare a variable up top. I'm just going to call it, it's going to be an int, and I'm just going to call it temp, and it's going to equal 1. Temp for temporary, and it's going to equal 1. So right when we enter here... So right when we enter the loop, we're going to want to want to go if temp equals 1. Then reset start time. And now since we're creating an end game timer, here is why we have to do this. Because if we don't do it, once we press init, the timer starts. Then your end game timer is off for the rest of your match. And it could tell you it's end game up to... It could probably tell you it's end game before the match starts with the t um, times it takes some of the matches to start. So you're going to want to put this in your loop. And then we're going to change temp to equaling 2 so that it doesn't come back in this loop ever again. So now here's what I like to do for the end game timer. It's another conditional statement. And this has to do with the elapsed time library. So time is the variable, and it is in seconds, seconds that have passed. So I'm going to say if time 
is greater than or equal to uh, 90 because that is a minute and a half since it's in seconds then you're gonna set this to our end game pattern and then let's say you want your end game pattern to be heartbeat blue that is how you would do that and then we're gonna have the else statement here which is the pattern you would want your lights to be whenever whenever um, you're just driving around and it's not end game so that even when you're practicing if you're not on a timer after end game passes it just goes back to this so you can go lights dot set pattern let's just say we want normal let's say we want blue green that is how we would do that so that let's say we're two seconds into the match of teleop it'll be that pattern so now something we want to deal with also is like what if we want to know there's five seconds left in the match so we're going to want to go and the time is less than 115 so then it will set to this pattern and then we can do an else if oops now we can do an else if time is greater than or equal to 115 and time is less than 120 then you will set your pattern here and then you can also do it like when the match ends and all kinds of things like that I'm sure you get the idea but there's also some other cool things we can do pairing this with sensors now we're gonna start talking about sensors in the next three videos we're gonna talk about color sensors distance sensors and touch sensors and you can pair those with your lights to get real-time feedback something that we like to do with our robot is use a distance sensor for when we're intaking the blocks that we know it's in a good place we, where we can grab it and build with it or if we need to adjust it a bit it's just stuff like that cool things like that something else I like to do with my drivetrain code and this is if we have nothing else to really use the lights for is we set them for brake lights so that when you're not moving it's just like a, a normal car your brake lights come on and it's just fun in practice like the lights are a fun thing for your robot and sometimes you become known by your lights except we had a lot of team there were a lot of teams with lights this year but we were known for the robot with lights that may be something you want to be known for something you're not known for but it's just fun to have and I guess that's going to be it for this video because I'm going off on a ramble so today we learned about the rev blink and led drivers and we made a simple um, end game timer with it too so and from all of us here at fierce fish we hope you have a great day